Howdy folks, Jason here, Old Car Auto Guy. Today we're doing some sound upgrades on Old Grandma. So what we've got here today is uh, we're doing all four speakers in Grandma. So there's two, uh, one in each door. In the rear, there's one on each side of the package tray. I wouldn't have bothered doing all four, but I've got one blown speaker that's rattly in the door on the driver's side and one that's rattly in the back. So I'm kind of stuck replacing all four because I want them all to be the same. So that's what we're tackling today. And the first thing we've got to do is get this door panel off. So let's do it. All right, so you see we've got the door panel off with a little bit of help from my tool heads crate mini pry bar and we've got everything exposed here and one of the neat tricks that I want to point out to you guys about these Crown Vicks or these Panther platforms is the push pad keyless entry on the door you can access that code on your control module which is located on the driver's side door there is a five digit code which is what allows you to get into your car using a five digit code here in the door and you learned it here so what we've got to do is we've got to get this speaker removed and what we're going to be using are these Kenwood 6x8 factory replacement speakers and uh, they are a performance series so they're going to sound a little bit better but they do fit in the factory location. We're also going to be mounting in these uh, speaker baffles which are going to help keep the weather and any rainwater and stuff like that off the back side of the speaker. So let's get this one out and get the new one wired up and put into place. So you've got two parts of the speaker here. You've got the, for some reason, a five millimeter little screw that holds this onto the adapter plate. The adapter plate is just a Phillips screwdriver. We'll take that off. So we'll uh, get this out and we'll show you what the wiring looks like in behind. So here is the junky factory speaker and here's the Kenwood Premier Series speaker. There's not a whole lot of difference in them. They're roughly the same diameter, but you will note that the Kenwood magnet is much larger than the factory one. All we've got to do is tap into the speaker wires and plug them in here with the wires that are included with the speakers, and then we're golden. So with the help of our CalHawk wire strippers that we got from a, a tool heads crate, we are going to use the wires that were provided with the speakers and we're going to take these little clamp style crimp connectors. We're going to tap one side of each wire and then we're going to plug it in to tap into the new speakers that we're using. This is a factory plug-in and it will not fit on the back of the speaker. So we've got to make do with something different. So let's get at her. Okay, so now that we've got that plugged in, let's check our connections and make sure we got sound. We got sound, so let's get that baffle in there, everything put back together and trimmed up and we're done on this side. So we've got our front speakers in and they sound amazing. I can't wait to get the back ones in, so let's take a look and see what's involved and getting those done. Now most people would think you've got to kind of crawl up and lay on your back inside the trunk, but on these Crown Victorias, Grand Marquis, town cars, they're a little bit of a different story. We've got to get the back seat out. We've got to take these two C-pillar inside covers off, and that way we can remove the package tray. See, our speakers are located in here on either side. So we've got some work ahead of us before we get there. So the first thing I'm going to do is get this bottom seat up and to do that you just reach underneath of it here and you give it a little snap and it pops out. So I've already done that and we're going to take it out. And set it on the trunk. The next thing we've got to do is get the seat back off and it doesn't come off that easy or as easy as it does on a Crown Victoria for some reason. We've got some bolts that hold the seat back in place and the seat belts, so we're gonna have to undo those and then we just lift it up and it folds forward. So let's do that. Okay, so because of the tinted windows, I hope you can see in here all right. 
But the next step is, is we've got a couple of these little body clips, these little Christmas tree style clips. There's one here, there's one there that we've got to pop out. Then we've got to pop these panels off, which is just a couple of tabs that hold it in place. Then we can remove this and pull it out and have access to the speaker. So I've got my upholstery tool to get rid of these little clips and all you do is just slide it under and give it a pop up like that and they pop straight out. And now we've got these two side panel clips which just give a little tug and then you can just let them hang on the uh, seat belt there over to this side and do the same thing. So now we should be able just to kind of reach in here, lift up on this package tray, and fully expose our six by eight speakers here in the rear. Now, unlike the front, they don't use the five millimeter. They use just a regular Phillips screwdriver. So I've got my screwdriver here. One thing I forgot to tell you, the third brake light has to come out. And again, there's two small little Phillips screws on each side to take out and you have it. So now let's get the speakers out of the dash and start replacing them with the new ones. Now that we've got those new speakers installed in the rear deck, it's time to test them out before we put everything back together. Make sure we've got sound coming from both speakers. So let's do that now. Now, some of you might be asking, Jason, why did you put those foam baffles in the back? because you're not going to get any water back there. Well, not necessarily any water, but in the future, I do plan on putting some base in the trunk. And with those baffles, that will help keep the base from distorting these speakers while they're playing up here. It happens. I used to be in the business way back when I was in my 20s, and that was a common practice to put those baffles in there to help keep that base from coming up through and, and distorting the sound. Uh, of the uh, cones on these speakers as well. So that's why we did it in the rear up front a little bit of that as well as keeping the water out So one thing I'm realizing now that I'm putting the seat back together is that two of the bolts that I took out thinking they were holding the seat back in Don't at all this bolt and This one over here are for your child seat tether anchors down at the bottom and there's actually even a little diagram right there that says that's what it's for and I really wasn't paying attention. I took them out anyways. No big deal, just a few seconds to screw them back in there. Now we're getting ready to put that seat bottom back in place. Well guys and girls, it is at this point in the video where we bring things to a close. The stereo now sounds 100% better. Can't wait to get that subwoofer hooked up with the trunk and we will do a video on that as well. This was a fairly simple job. The back was a little bit tougher than the front, but nevertheless, we've got it in there and it sounds awesome. Guys, it's been brought to my attention that I have two really big little fans out there who watch me faithfully on behalf of their dad. And I want to give a big shout out to Sully Hat and Benjamin Teal. Guys, I know you're watching. Thank you so much for making Old Car Auto Guy successful. And I will be sending you guys out a little something to your dad to give to you on behalf of me, Old Car Auto Guy. Thank you once again. It is now time to say goodbye, guys. Thank you for the Car Guy and Six Fan Show success in season 2.1. We will be back with you guys in the new year. We may do something special over the holidays. I don't know. It's up to Grant. If he wants to do it, I'm willing to just kind of do one Thursday night out there in the middle somewhere to wish you guys all a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Yeah, it's that time of year again. I can't believe it. I gotta get my Christmas shopping started. Anyways, Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you. God bless. Thank you so much to Sully and Benjamin for watching my videos. Guys, have a great one. We'll see you in the next video.